YouTube, we are here at the Grand Hyatt, Tampa Bay. I've got oyster catchers, best restaurant, one of the best restaurants in Tampa, it's badass. I got Chef Adriel, Chef Byron, he was on episode three. We're gonna eat great food. Come on, let's do this. All right, so YouTube, we are here at the Grand Hyatt, Tampa Bay. Um, I'm with Chef Byron Gable and Chef Adriel Rosario. And you might remember uh, Chef uh, Byron from episode three uh, and some other stuff we've done as well. Good to see you, man. Way back. Yeah, man, good to see you. <laughs> good to see you good as well, to see Carl. You. Um, chef, thank you for having us out to the restaurant. Oh, you. Um, so, Byron, man, like, what are we doing today? Well, um, so it's really nice. I wanted to feature Chef Adriel. He's the um, chef de cuisine at Oyster Catchers, which is part of the property at Grand High at Tampa Bay. It's one of the restaurants we have. It's our feature restaurant where um, Adriel has, uh, creates and controls the menu in the whole restaurant. Um, so this is really about him. Um, he does report to me, but he, the guy is, the guy's amazing. I don't have to do anything, but, you know, he's, he's amazing. So, uh, I wanted to really, you know, kind of introduce him and to, to Carl and to, the, to, to walk and talk. Listen, and so. I, seriously speaking, it's an honor to be on this property doing this show. And I mean that so sincerely. I appreciate you, that. You know, it's a pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We're um, a busy restaurant and we do a great, you know, great volume here for, for all 30 years. It's actually starting to fill up now. So we're <laughs> going to put, uh, we're going to put the high tail on this real quick. Let's do our rapid fire segment and uh, let's see what you got, man. Awesome. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go. YouTube, we are back with Chef Adriel Rosario. Are you ready for our world famous rapid fire questions? Let's do it. Okay, are you sure you're ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, first of all, how did you get into the kitchen? Well, it's the only thing that I wanted to do, man. I think it was middle school when I first decided that I wanted to be in the kitchen. It was the only path that I wanted to go for. I didn't want to do anything else, like policemen, firemen, whatever. I just went to cooking and I just continued that path to where I'm at today. And middle school, that's pretty young. Yeah. Well, my brother, so my brother is three years older than me and he did like career day in school and same thing, he didn't know what to do. So he just dressed up as a chef. Oh, and wow. I, I visualized my brother a lot. And so when I saw my brother doing that, so I was like, oh, that's what I'm gonna do. Is your brother cooking? No, he's okay. not. All right, so he just kind of planted a seed yeah. and he went with it. Yeah, and I just, I'm the one that went with it, yep. Awesome. If you weren't, um, if you weren't a chef, what would you be? I always keep thinking that. I think the one thing that always pops in my head is uh, fireman. Uh, I love, I just love oh, wow. playing with fire, man. Yeah, so I was just gonna say, <laughs> you're just like living on the edge. Yeah, I, I love playing you. with fire, so why not? All right, so, you know, here's, um, here's kind of a cool question, right? How would you best describe your team? Are we talking Pirates of the Caribbean or the Rebel Forces from Star Wars? <laughs> uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Why so? Because um, we are a very fun crew. We always having fun, and you know the movies, they're just, the parents gonna be in, they're always having a good time. We always having a good time in the kitchen because it can be very stressful, as you know. So, but then we get the job done, and at the end of the day, we, we get the mission accomplished, so. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying, after this episode, somebody might get you an eye patch that you have to wear. <laughs> I'm just saying. What's your, uh, at home, what is your favorite food to eat? Uh, I would say chicken and rice, arroz con pollo. Yeah? That's definitely that my go-to. That yeah. sounds delicious, actually. Yeah. What's your least favorite? <sighs> my kid's uh, pizza. He <laughs> likes really bad pizza. Or chicken, <laughs> yeah, or chicken nuggets or something yeah. like that. I, oh my God, I can totally understand what you're saying. Um, so, you're in a beautiful restaurant here. It's Oyster Catchers. It's like a, it's a Tampa Bay uh, staple. But what's your, what's your bucket list uh, restaurant? Where would you, that you haven't been to, where would you want to go? I think uh, my biggest one that I want to go to, I want to go to the French Laundry. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah, uh, Thomas Keller, man. Yeah, Thomas Keller, he's just, he's the godfather. He is the, 
You know what? That's the best. Uh, <laughs> that's the best descriptor yet um, of that. So all of all the out of all the celebrity chefs that are out there, you know, past, uh, in the now, what? Who would you be most afraid to do a head-to-head uh, -head battle competition with? Mm. Wow. I would, I would say Bobby Flay would be one because uh, he's very knowledgeable in a lot of areas, but I think I'll be most afraid of facing Morimoto. Really? Yeah. Okay. He I has mean, that I, Asian technique that is, is unbelievable. You know what? That's also another good, uh, that's a good answer. I don't want any trouble here. <laughs> um, shrimp cocktail or, uh, or oyster? Oysters. Yeah, Oysters. of course. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, last question. Who is your culinary spirit animal? Is it a, your mentor, somebody, you know, who, who is it? Uh, a lot of my chefs from the past, uh, I think I have a lot of people along the way that has helped me a lot uh, and changed my perspective from when I first started 14 years ago to now. Uh, my first uh, chef, Chef Trent, he was a hustler. Uh, chef Thomas in Atlanta, he teach me a lot uh, to be where I needed to be to become a great chef de cuisine. Uh, Byron here in uh, Grand Hyatt, he has all been a really good help and, and really mentored me the past couple of years, so I'm very thankful. Well, you know what, you, you seem to be one of the only uh, few, not only, but of the few humble chefs that are out there. Um, appreciate what you're doing here. We've done some work together in the past too. Yes. You're definitely a good guy, good chef, great chef. Um, YouTube, we are going to get into the kitchen now. We're gonna see uh, the main man here in action and we're gonna eat some food. Let's go. Stay tuned. While the chef is cooking, I'll be enjoying coffee from the best coffee company on the market. Don Pablo Coffee Growers and Roasters. Find it on amazon.com. Cheers. W-I-T, you know the drill, donpablocoffee.com. Check them out. YouTube, walk-in confessions with Chef Adriel. Come on, let's do this. All right, so, Chef, you know the drill here with walk-in confessions, right? I know you got some kind of a story, something cool or not cool. Uh, what you got? So the one thing that I think it was pretty crazy for me was it was maybe two years ago. We were, it was Christmas Eve. We were already set. We had a, a five course meal menu. It wasn't busy at all at Christmas Eve. It was fully covered, all reservations, ready to roll. We open at 5.30, 15 minutes before we get in the grill working. 
the girl gets caught on fire for all the degrees. What do you mean, like the whole? The whole girl gets caught up. Um, <laughs> and then the fire system turn them on, the anti system turn on. So we couldn't operate. So we had literally have 15 minutes to just gather our things, go to another outlet, and get service ready to go in 15 minutes. Would you do and to then, get it done? Or? So we were able to get it done. Uh, we had help from multiple people. Uh, we called our reservations, the people that did not want it to go anywhere else. Uh, we refunded them uh, and then we served in another outlet. So the other outlet was also packed as well. So we made the accommodations for it within those 15 minutes and we just got the job so done. So you, you got everybody done? All right, yeah. man. I mean, that, listen, <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something. I, you know, I say it every week, man. At the end of the day, you have no idea what's going on in, in, the, in the kitchen, in the building. I mean, there was, I mean, there, there, was a fire. Kids, there was a fire, <laughs> but you had a delicious meal and that's what counts. That's because of people like Chef Adriel and the rest of the team. Hey, catch us. We're going to go to the next segment. Be good. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, man. Appreciate right. that. Be good. All right. So we're here. We're outside. Chef, first of all, thank you for letting us uh, kind of take over the kitchen for a little bit. Um, we got to see you prep this uh, beautiful food. Uh, it's tradition on Walk and Talk where we're going to break bread, man. We're going to eat, have a drink. Uh, and speaking of the drinks, what do we have here? So let's start with yours. Mm -hmm. You have a uh, smoked Manhattan. Yep. You got the maple bourbon in there, some ancho chili syrup. Finish it with the cherries. Very mm -hmm. nice. It's uh, oyster catcher's uh, specialty drinks. This is delicious, by the way. So I, I saw the bartender, uh, Taylor. She was, uh, you know, she was heating up that yeah. pad or whatever. I mean, it's a it's a it's a maple um, plaque, so it'll give you that little bit more of a smoky flavor into it. Yeah, no, and it you really feel it on the palate too. Like this is serious. So come for a drink, get this because it's delicious. Uh, what do you got there? This was one of our new ones coming out. Uh, it's a uh, Royal Hawaiian. It's really good for the seafood aspect of it because you got gin. You get some almond syrup and some lemon juice. Uh -huh. It's nice and light and refreshing just for that time of the year that it's now it's getting really hot, so. That looks fantastic too. Um, you know, obviously that's your beverage. Yeah. So I'm not gonna touch it. Yeah. You wanna fight? That's, that's Is my that what baby. you wanna do? You wanna that's fight? That's my baby. Nope, that's okay. my baby. I don't baby. want any trouble. I love this one. Security, security? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So, um, awesome. Drinks are beautiful. Love the bar, love the scene, the setup, and everything here is fantastic. Uh, so we got water, like we're literally right here. Beautiful seafood sitting in front of us. What do we have? Uh, so here we have their char grill oysters. We do our picking wood uh, grill on them. Uh, we cook them with a little bit of our comfy garlic mm -hmm. that we do ourselves. Uh, some panko parmesan cheese and just a little bit of butter in there and that smokiness from the bourbon. Uh, gives you that little bit of a smoky flavor into it. Uh, really nice, really nice appetite to start up. Uh, this is my favorite, it's one of the new ones that we got coming in. It's a seafood pot. Uh, we did a twist on it with the coconut nash in it. Yeah. Um, so um, chile de arbol in there as well. Yes. A uh, little bit of aromatics like garlic, uh, chives, and tarragon. Give you a little bit of a uh, refreshness on it. Uh, oh, you wow. get a little bit of heat, and then you get that beautiful coconut floridium flavor in there as well. Wow, man. Yeah, I, I can. This. So, yeah, I can eat a whole plate of this. All right, gentlemen, what's going on here? Hey, chef. Hi there. I see you got into some of the food, but you're not eating the oysters yet. What's happening? Well, uh, you're kind of reading my mind. I, guess. I don't know. Like, what's I don't know. You, like, here? you appeared here like Dracula. <laughs> here you are. And yes, I am jumping in. Okay, good. Speak. Good. Listen, chef. Um, you know, how do you I, do? Don't forget, you need some lemon on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all that. <laughs> like, like I don't know how to do this, right? No, I'm kidding. So, um, I, I already told chef uh, Adriel. Thank you, thank you for getting us out here. Oh, it's awesome. It was great to feature our home here, you know, and uh, we appreciate it as well. Yeah, look, you're you're probably, you're, you're one of my closest chefs in this town. Indeed, yeah. We've been working together for a long years. time, yeah. yeah. And um, I just really, sincerely thank you um, yeah, for having thank us you come too. out. Yeah, it was great. awesome. Good to see you in action yeah. and good to see you again as well. Um, guys, that's a, that's a wrap. Check out next week. We got some really good stuff coming up. I'll I'll post. You'll see what it is. Be good. Thank awesome. you. Awesome.